Who are Bani Israel and what relationship do they have today? So we talked a minute ago about mm-hmm. Abraham coming from the yes. city of Ur. Abraham had a son called Isaac. When Isaac was around 60 years old, he had a son called Jacob. And Jacob is also known as Israel in mm-hmm. the Bible. Jacob or Israel had 12 sons. One of the most famous sons is Yusuf. Joseph or Yusuf, yeah. But Yusuf alayhi salam uh, was ended up in in Egypt. Mm-hmm. He invited his family to join him. So all the 12 brothers to Egypt. So the, with regards to the children of Israel, many of those became Muslims. And in the Quran itself, there are also prophecies regarding the children of Israel. The verses that refer to the prophecies of the children of Israel, these will be its signs. So Allah just gives the sign. First, they will humiliate, hurt, sour your faces, meaning the face of the believers. وَلِيَدْخُلُوا الْمَسْجِدَ كَمَا دَخَلُوهُ أَوَّلَ مَرَّةً So they will enter the masjid um, as they entered it the first time. Um, and here, our the Jewish uh, population, they have uh, a belief that they have ceremonial impurity. And one of the ways to become ceremonially impure is if you have touched a dead person. So everyone's had an uncle or an auntie or a cousin that has passed away. You obviously go to the burial. You obviously touch and kiss and this and that. So you become... And then the, to make it worse, anyone that touches someone that has touched a dead person, you become ceremonially impure. Yes. So uh, the, how do you remove the impurity? So they believe that uh, the red haifa, the red cow, must be sacrificed and the ashes of that used in a special process to cleanse people from their ceremonial impurity. Um, so they have been searching eagerly, and there's an actual uh, organization that's responsible for this, they have been searching for this red haifa so that they could uh, get the ceremonial cleansing. There's a and special cow, you're saying? Yes, there's a special haifa. Yeah, that's, that's right, the cow is a haifa is a breed. Yes. And they found one in 2015, and then at the last minute they found a black hair on it. And I think another one they found in 2018, and under the arm there was another mm-hmm. color here, so they couldn't meet their standards. And then they've been in touch with Texas uh, recently, where they are, uh, you know... Uh, unnaturally selecting, genetically modifying the rest of it. Until now they have five heifers. So they found these these cows, the red cows that are spotless basically and they meet all the requirements. They've never worn a collar they've never yes. been mated, they never had children mm-hmm. and all the rest of it. And now um, that has actually been transported back to Israel now from Texas. Mm-hmm. There's five of them or four of them. Uh, just for good measure, they only yes. need one. And then the one who should do the process has to be someone that is also clean, like a priest. So they have mm-hmm. been for years bringing up priests. Pure priests will come and sacrifice the haifa, and its ashes uh, will be spread. And this will be a huge historical, spiritual event um, where I anticipate millions of people will come from around the world uh, to experience uh, the cleansing and um, and the spiritual and the emotional high that will mm-hmm. be there. Uh, I foresee that this is just my guesswork and I could stand corrected on this. I foresee that with you know millions of people there and ecstasy that, that will come with it, um, then very quickly it can be claimed that people got out of control and they entered the, the mosque and mm-hmm. destroyed the place and now a temple can be built on top of it. So the, the verse of the Quran, وَلِيَدْخُلُوا الْمَسْجِدَةِ as they used to enter it in their multitudes, they will enter it again after the cleansing happens. Second sign. The third sign, and they will destroy whatever you have um, built up, high-rise buildings and rocket strikes down the bottom and it comes down to the ground. So when those three things happen, those are the signs. Yes. Um, so if we can quickly the, recount those three things that will happen. Uh, the first, the humiliation of the yes. Muslim, of the local population. Which, which is happening. Which is happening. For, it's been happening for a long yes. time. And the second one uh, is the entering of the masjid again. Yes. And the third one, the destruction of whatever has been built up. Yes. Now we know that also the Prophet ﷺ spoke specifically being the place where obviously Isa ﷺ will finally uh, you know, kill the Antichrist. Yes, and so after this one, then mm-hmm. the end of time prophecies yes. come. 